All right, look what Adam Hadwin is doing here. Look where he's aiming. See the cup right there in the middle of your screen? Look at where he's aiming. Teed off on 10. So he's made the turn and he's trying to get this ball to turn towards the hole. Oh, how good is Come this? Come on, do how it! How good is do that? Oh, Adam Hadwin! Wow! I mean, the imagination. For the back to the hole. The execution. He's in a little bit of trouble here at the par 5 third. He is indeed, Graham. He's got no lie over this green and no green to work with. Oh! Wow! Let's have another look at this. Uh, Shot from Keimer, Stri nearly tried to jump out, didn't it? What a shot there. Well, this was Fuzzy Zeller, 173 yards, 16th hole. He wasn't making a whole lot happen on this day at even par. Well, no he doesn't real good either. Back left, it's hung up in the rough. That's, mm. you know, no good there. Is it tough chip, I think. Oh, wait a minute, there he goes. You're not gonna believe it. Pretty You're good. not gonna be some chance. No, no, you gotta be. Oh, kidding. please! <laughs> <laughs> you, you said we were. You said that may have been the loudest roar you have oh, ever heard out here on the Champions Tour. That is the loudest roar I've ever heard. And this is at the drivable par four 16. It's pretty dangerous when you've got the creek kind of right there. You have there. to be kidding me. Oh, it went, oh, oh off No, the, it <laughs> didn't. Off the bridge. Is it going to go in? What? Oh God. For a tap in eagle. <laughs> off the bridge. <laughs> well, you take that. Back at 14 and Corey Pavin in a world of hurt. He certainly is. This ball is inside the hazard up against the tree root and the ball sits in a depression just outside that tree root and from a right-handed position he cannot get to it. Uh, I gotta tell you this is this is the tournament here for him if he can't, doesn't pull this off. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, this is unbelievable. This, this wow. might go down oh, as one my. of the best shots I have <laughs> ever seen. I cannot believe that. <laughs> Had a great year putting the ball this past, I should say this past season. Yeah. It just has such a, he, his hands are really light on the putter grip and then there's just that little bit of release through there. It's just look. As we go to number two and see if Ricky Fowler puts that aggressive putt on it. Needs to up that hill. Yeah. Hey, what, he's pretty birdie. Ricky Fowler now hitting his third on the par five, laid up to 156 yards. Fowler coming off a solo second at Mayakoba on the PGA Tour, and wow, Ricky Fowler off to a great start. Yeah, and Ricky Fowler is coming out for his fourth straight. That would be a yes. Oh. Best sand player on tour last year. Oh. <laughs> okay. How about that? Man, oh man, look at that scorecard. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. How about that? Kurt, this is getting ridiculous. Live look at Ricky Fowler for birdie and the outright lead. No, it moves to the right. And yeah. how about in a row? Gary, the record is nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How about that nine? He was a mention at the beginning of the day, but not one that you would focus on. And a 61, a new course record, a new tournament record, and Ricky Fowler finishes up at 18 under par. Christopher Myers trails by one in the pro junior competition playing the 18th and this is his second to the par five so a birdie to tie the lead. Well look at this shot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, got a double eagle walk off. Unbelievable. What a thrill. 
A double eagle to win the competition for Christopher Myers. Well, that's the way to do it in style right there. Incredible. I have, I, I tell you what, Mickelson couldn't have done it. <laughs> So Matt, top draw, how did you pull it off? Um, used to playing crazy golf, so uh, <laughs> simple as that really. Uh, not normally a shot on the golf course, but um, yeah, I, I fancied it, so uh, I thought I'd just hit it and it went well. Uh, after my practice swing, I could feel the ground was pretty hard, so I knew that the ball wasn't going to jump out of there. It was going to fly as true yardage. You've hit them stiff every time, might as well go ahead and hit it again. 167 yards. This one appears to be online, I think. Oh, you know, you can't. I used to sneak out on the golf course to go play in twilight like this. Then I used to have probably two or three holes in pitch black dark when you have to call the shot. That's the feel and this is how I grew up playing.